We're back at NASA Walt Flight Facility to watch another rocket launch through the International Space Station. In previous missions, we've seen them launch mice, an oven to bake food, and even a new space toilet. And with 8,000 pounds of supplies on board, the rocket is ready to go. We have engine ignition. So what is going up on this rocket? The brine processor system, a system that separates urine into pure water and brine. So did you know that astronauts have to drink their own pee? Yes, they've been drinking their own pee for over 10 years. So what the brine processor assembly will do is take that leftover brine and recover even more water from it. And so it's gonna increase our water recovery to about 98%. Also on board to be tested is the radiation detection system, a system that will be used on the Artemis II mission for when we will have a crew of astronauts orbiting the moon. First stage passing through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Astronauts that spend time in space are sometimes known to have changes to their vision. The Lambda Vision experiment is going to see how we can rebuild damaged cells in our eyes while in space. Finally, FinSats, about the size of a slice of bread. Satellites created by students are going up on this rocket. Engines are at 100%. So from fourth grade all the way up through college and even into graduate school. Yes, as Katherine Johnson takes flight. Even as an old science educator, I had to go back and look some of this stuff up. They're really doing some exciting, innovative, innovative things. The Cygnus capsule, otherwise known as the SS Katherine Johnson, will reach the International Space Station soon and will bring nearly 8,000 pounds of supplies to the floating laboratory. At Wallops Island, I'm Jeff Edmondson, 10 on your side.